Hey everyone, this is Cindy with Love to Scrap for Fun. This is a horse lover junk journal. This is going to be called Charlie. Charlie the Horse Lover Junk Journal. Um, it is 9 inches by 6 inches by 2 and 3 quarter inch spine. This is very heavy upholstery fabric that is on the cover. It is machine stitched around the edges and frayed. It has denim fabric um, with some burlap and the image of two beautiful horses machine stitched around. There's an eyelet, metal eyelet with a key ring and this is handmade by my daughter who does these braided friendship bracelet type things. And I thought it looked uh, very coordinating with this. It reminds me of um, a, braid, a braided uh, horse mane or a decoration that you put on the side of a horse's bridle. Up above, there is a pocket with some journal tags. Let's slide right up in there. This has a button. This has a metal eyelet. The inside cover, um, this is medium weight cardboard that I made this out of. So it's very, very sturdy. It's not the lightweight cardboard but the sturdy. This scrapbook paper is like wallpaper. It has a really nice texture on it. Very strong texture. Everything is edge inked with Vintage Photo by Tim Holtz. The library pocket has a journal tag, journal card. And this is backed by some burlap and some accents. And you'll see there's these beautiful images of horses. Um, I bought the images um, from a horse lover journal kit with ephemera with it. And um, I can let you know who I bought that from if you... If you ask me in the comments, I will sure let you know who it was from. Right off the top of my head, I don't remember. But I copied these on some resume paper, so it has a nice texture. It was off-white resume paper. And there's plenty of uh, writing space for your journaling in here. It does have four signatures. And there's approximately... 330 pages front and back. The beautiful images came out really nice. I added copy dyed papers and I did some stamping of some horse stamps and stenciling with uh, the burlap look. Scrapbook cardstock. This is a pocket page. This is a altered paper clip there's journal cards guest check they're all edge inked I fussy cut this image out and adhered this cute little cowgirl to this pocket got some graph papers in here plenty of room to to write there's four of those this is a color page with a belly band and a journal card and I machine stitch this belly band with some burlap trim on it it has some stitching there and then I added an image and this is a burlap pocket on this page and there are some ruffled tabs that I machine stitched and adhered. There's five of those denim ruffled tabs in this. 
And this is a card or tag, journal tag. This is a cute little envelope with the little image of the cowgirl. And there is a, a journal card on here, in here. I just stick that behind there. And this is coffee dyed cardstock. And this is a fussy cut image that I adhered to this page. And there's burlap stenciling and another altered paper clip of a, a woman, a vintage woman and a horse. And there's some more lined writing spaces. There's four of those. And this is from a horse calendar. And there's a side pocket. Side pocket on here. And I added some old um, phone call message paper in here. Some beautiful horses. There's the other four writing lined pages. This is a fabric flip over some coffee dyed cardstock. And I adhered some cardstock on the bottom to give it some weight so it would lay flat. And here's a side pocket. And this is a mini journal notebook that I layered with embellishments and an image, edge inked everything, and a little burlap pocket inside with a little journal card and a tag, and some pages to journal on, a little pocket here made from a paper doily, and there's a side pocket here, I added a little kind of an index card type thing and I added a, this is from a, a paper uh, uh, packaging that I adhered onto that side and these are coffee dyed statement papers you can use for your journaling and some old address book pages you could use for journaling or whatever. There's the other side of the side pocket with another index card and some embellishments. And this is made from a manila file folder. I added a ribbon on the side. This is the other side of the color page. There's a horse and there is a, a girl right here. Some graph papers for journaling. There's four of them. Here's a little pocket tuck right here with some tickets. And here's a ticket, a little tag. And there's some scrapbook cardstock and some coffee dyed pages. There's a beautiful image of a vintage image of a horse. More writing space. And that was the first signature. And the second signature. More coffee dyed papers with some stamping and stenciling. Beautiful images of horses. If you're a horse lover, you will love this. I fell in love with this journal as I did it. I put my whole heart into it. I am a horse lover. And I've only owned one horse in my life. And he was a sorrel named Blaze that uh, the family had when we were younger. But I haven't owned a horse since. I would love to someday, but very costly writing pages 
And here's a, a flip out with some writing pages. There's a little pocket tuck right here with some tickets and a tag. And there's a pocket behind that with a journal tag and a journal card. All beautiful horse images. And an upper corner tuck with some journal cards, vintage journal cards. Here's a collage page. More writing for writing four or five lined writing pages that are all edge inked. A calendar page where there's places for you to put something into these side pockets that have beautiful horses from a calendar. Here's the five writing pages. Here's the other side of the collage page and another upper tuck. And I decorated that with some um, gauze and a, a ticket and a postcard and a kind of like a bingo card. The images came out really beautiful. Writing pages. Left just some spots here. That's the durable scrapbook cardstock. Went really well with this, with the whole horse image. I love the, the look of it, kind of like a bandana. Beautiful horse image, coffee dyed papers. And that's the end of the second signature. And on to the third signature. Here is um, the botanical type papers that are all edge inked. Nice writing spaces for your journaling. A stamp, beautiful image, coffee dyed paper. There's three, four writing pages. This is, um, has a side pocket here. And there's a couple of large index cards that I edge inked with some blue and vintage photo with some tabs. Has a little tuck here in the front. With a little coupon and a little journal card. Text right in there. There's an accent here, and this whole this is a window envelope, a large window envelope. And there's some notebook paper that goes inside of there with some horse images. I got this notepad from Cracker Barrel last year. I fell in love with the, the awesome design. There's some more writing pages and a lower corner pocket with uh, like a ticket and some ephemera. Vintage photos. And this accent here is the definition of a horse. A large plant-eating domesticated mammal with solid hoofs and a flowing mane and tail. Used for riding, um, racing, and to carry and pull loads. And this has a pocket up here. Another journal, vintage journal card. And I made this little notebook, notepad, some papers. And that's backed on some corrugated paper and some, I want to say gauze, but it's cheesecloth. Yes, that's cheesecloth. And this little um, envelope type thing 
folds out like this so you can do more journaling on the inside like so and there's some burlap trim with one of my um, wax seals this is from a book it has image um, talks about this says this is the West and this says that this photo was um, Jackson Hole, Wyoming, where horses were carrying a load of hay. And the other side explains what those images are. A little farm up in Colorado, I believe. And here's another fabric flip up. And this one I put a metal eyelet with the little string attached and it has um, the cardstock on the bottom to give it some weight it's a cowboy herding some cattle up in the mountains and there's a pocket underneath with a journal card and a tag with some lines on the back to journal Here's the corner tuck with the definition of a saddle, a seat fastened on the back of a horse or other animal for riding, typically made of leather and raised at the front and rear. And I thought that that was kind of cute vintage photo. She's on a saddle. No horse, but kind of a fake horse. And there's another retro journal card and a tag, some baggage claim tag. And some more writing lined pages. There's four of those. And here's a side tuck with the image of some horses and a postcard with that cute little cartoon image of a cowgirl. And that's a cute little cowgirl like paper doll vintage journal card. And one of my handmade tags. And there's the other side of those writing pages. Coffee dyed paper, the other side of that image, retro image, more stamping and stenciling, writing spaces, the other side of the botanical paper. And that's the end of the third signature and the fourth signature. Here's a little tuck, and this is a I fussy cut this horse and this dog image. This is just what my dog looks like. He's a border, I have two border collies, and one of them looks like this. And he's holding the reins of the horse there. And I've got some journal cards here. And here's a little notepad. And here's some graph papers. There's one, two, three, four of those. And four of those lined writing papers. And some copy dyed cardstock with some stenciling and a uh, altered paper clip. You could paper clip anything you want on here. And here is a pocket page. And we've got a film strip. And an altered guest check. And a pretty envelope of a gorgeous image of a horse with a journal card inside. And tuck those back in here 
and there's a little tuck right here that has tiny little ephemera with some horses and a ticket. And you could put whatever you want on here. I left it blank. And here's another page from a book, and this is from the South. And um, this is actually a mule pulling a plow in the Arkansas Ozark Mountains. And it tells you about it right here. And this is a beautiful image on the other side of that book page. And here's some tucks with some tags, distress tags. And I added cheesecloth and, a, and the horse image stamp and a little O2 on there. And this is the envelope that flips out. And it has a little paper denim pocket. It says horse lover with some journal cards. Isn't that beautiful? I love these retro images. And then there's a fussy cut um, circus girl on a horse backed on some burlap. And inside this envelope, there's some index cards with tabs that say Horse Canter Giddy Up Adventure. And I tuck those right in there. There's plenty of space here to do with what you want. Some more writing pages, graph papers. Here's the pocket, a tag and a journal card. It's a postcard. And I did some stitching around there. Copy dyed papers. Um, Stamping and burlap stenciling. And kind of a collage page here. Writing space. And a beautiful image of that horse. And I've got a belly band on the back cover. A decorated belly band here that this actually goes into. And this is... Um, and some stationery, an envelope. It has some teepees and some Native Americans. And there's a squaw on here. There's no horses, but I thought it, it, I'd include it anyway. It's just kind of, it seems like it just goes with it. And there's a beautiful image of a mountain setting with the teepees and the squaw and the trees and and I'm sure they have horses somewhere, right? I thought about stamping some horses on there, but I thought, no, that'll just ruin it. It's just, it's beautiful the way it is. So I just tuck that right there in that back belly band because it's long, about as long as the, the journal is. And that is it. Thank you so much for viewing and, uh, have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.